Nine-time NBA champion Pat Riley selecting four-year product of UCLA Jamie Jacquez Jr. with the 18th overall pick in 2023's draft has blessed Dade County with one of the best rookies in this year's class and potentially a future all-star. After finishing as a game-high plus 24 in a 14-point win over the reigning in-season tournament champion winning Lakers, stay tuned for why Miami's highway robbery is troubling, plus for every detail regarding the state of this Heat team. Directly displaying he was a draft robbery, here Jacquez rotates over to reject the player drafted right ahead of him in 2023, being Jalen Hood, as Laker GM Rob Palinka's mistake gets reprehended in the flesh. Jamie's attention to detail and wherewithal was also demonstrated with how he held LBJ in check on an array of possessions. The poise, muscle, and reactivity can shock opponents given Jacquez is only a first-year guy. More on that coming up. From watching the rookie throughout his time at UCLA, specifically a few years ago in the 2021 March Madness tournament where he helped the Bruins reach the Sweet 16, it was evident from that point on Jamie Jacquez Jr. was ultimately going to end up being a pro-level basketball talent. You didn't know whether that meant future elite role player or future all-star caliber top option, but the man's mix of guard skill, post-up finesse, size, springiness, and stage presence shown off throughout four seasons as a Bruin was legit. Displaying that potential's coming to fruition, Jacquez Jr. is the only rookie next to Victor Wimbanyama and Scoot Henderson to be top 7 in both points and assists per game among rookies. From non-coincidentally utilizing UCLA screens to get open without the rock in his hands, to from the post either drawing gravity for kickouts or ducking in for quick twitch hooks, Jamie's high IQ in terms of his decisiveness complements his habitually polished basketball skill. On the other end, take in this perfect seal denial from Jamie on Tobias Harris where he refuses to be posted up on and aggressively yet fundamentally digs in for a scrappy knockaway and save. That type of positioning and persistence is extremely rare for a rookie. Here, Jacquez reads the backdoor cut, lunging out off-balance with his offhand for the steal and loose ball recovery. Additionally, Juan Wick has upside as a transition scorer, as taking this coast-to-coast -coast where he stops on a dime, simultaneously utilizes a slight push-off and moving behind the back, then up fakes to get Bamba and Morris jumping before fending off Bamba on his second contest for a very tough finish. Off this patented K-Love outlet, Note how Jamie foundationally glides into his attack on the catch, providing driving momentum for him to fearlessly attack Pat Bev at the hoop. From a shooting standpoint, Jock has shot 39.2% from beyond the arc on 3.5 deep range attempts per game back in November, but has since that month shot just 30.4% from out there. That said, just inside the arc from two-point range, Jamie's been extremely efficient off the dribble for the Heat all season. Jaquez is shooting an elite 60% on shots after 7-plus dribble. That's some damn good shot creation. Also, the rookie's facilitating his flash momentary excellence. After securing this loose ball in traffic, a couple strong under-control pushaheads are followed by a no-look bounce pass in transition that weaves through two defenders while nutmegging Kaminga to set up Jamal Kane. That was low-key one of the best dimes I've seen all season. While Jimmy Butler and another top weapon in Caleb Martin have been out, Mexican Jimmy Butler is stepping up. The crossing over to a primary winning factor being Bam Adebayo's presence up front, and the seventh year of an illustrious young career which has featured making four all-defensive teams, is seeing the center post career highs in points, shot attempts, and rebounds per game. It's the first time in Bam's career that he's averaging a 20-point double-double. Another product of Kentucky, Tyler Hero, is posting career highs across the board in points, rebounds, steals, assists, and field goal attempts per game to go along with field goal percentage, three-point percentage, and true shooting percentage. Nikola, don't call him Jokic, Jovic has been up and down from the G League, but over his last five games with the big club, against both the Dubs and Lake Show, Nikola scored 11 plus points on a combined 71.4% true shooting mark. Luckily for fans of the 20 year old born in the United Kingdom of Serbian descent, based off this next clip, Coach Eric Spolster is keeping a close eye on the former ABA League top prospects development. And then Nico, you know, also. Uh has been getting a, a lot better behind the scenes and, and uh, he's 20 years old his head coach has seen progress if he's not playing that doesn't mean that he is not making progress or that we've given up on him we're developing him 
and some of these moments uh, in the G League, I think, are really important. Sometimes it's important uh, when you lose, and then you get angry about it, and you figure out how you can impact winning, you know, the next time. And so he's had great moments in the G League, and he's also had tough moments. Six-time All-Star, former All-NBA player, the Toronto Raptor GOAT, and most notably NBA champion Kyle Terrell Lowry, is still getting it done after all these years in a Miami uniform. The 37-year-old product of Villanova in the 19th year of his career has been one of the Heat's most consistent role players in 23-24. Kyle shooting the highest percentage from the field of his career since his prime days as a top point guard in 2016-17. Still having an impact in the association down in South Beach, Kyle's taking a heat fourth most 4.33s per game and making a qualified team's second best percentage of them. Another NBA champion who's made at least five all-star appearances throughout his career that's a key veteran you can't gloss over is Kevin Love. The 35-year-old all-time great outlet passer and stretch big averaged over six threes per game over 12 outings in December and knocked down 39.7% of them. In terms of outside shooting for Miami, sniping assassin Duncan Robinson leads this Dade County attack in three-point percentage, while being second just behind first cousin Tyler Hero in three-point attempts per game. The former Division III college player and D. Robb's grace heat threads ever since being a patented Pat Riley undrafted signing in 2018, but flashing forward to a free agent pickup from this past summer and also helping Miami fit the mold amidst the modern-day three-point shooting era is Josh Richardson. Jay Rich was actually the Heat's 40th overall pick back in 2015 and is now in his second tenure with the Heat organization. Displaying himself as a solid pickup, Josh is one of seven Miami players averaging 10 plus points per game. You'd like to see him raise that 33.4% clip from deep range given he's a primary sniper, but as your 7th to 9th best player, you can get away with it. With Miami holding down home court advantage in the East as of this recording, sitting just above Indiana, despite two 20-plus point-per-game scores in Butler and Hero having missed a combined 28 games, the Heat are evidently still going to be a threat to advance to the finals in 2024. Going back to Jaquez Jr., Will Jamie be a playoff contributor for Miami in your opinion, or is he going to hit a rookie wall? Best answer gets next video's commenter shoutout and competes in Community Speaks for a chance to win free merch of their choosing. The two commenter shoutouts from my last two uploads are on your screen. Appreciate every take. Thank you the utmost for watching all the way through. DFlow signing off.